going to put this, we're going to put this part on the table and put this, take this spoon off the table. And like what, right here where it starts to bend to make the place where you start to put the stuff on, you have to bend that, you have to make sure you bend, just bend that part. And then, wait, and then so that wow. it can go all the way up. Okay. So let's think about some questions that we can ask. So why do you think that second time that you did it, it went up further? The marshmallows um, this time inclined further. This like this mm -hmm. time. What do you think? What's the reason? Because what about the catapult is making it uh, making the object fly like lower versus higher? The spoon made made it go higher because you see. If you see this part right here where like it starts to like go where it's straight and then it goes down and it stays down where like it starts to go straight and then it goes down and it stays down. That so part, basically the way you position the catapult? That part you have to bend down. You have to make sure you bend down. Ooh, and wow. then it'll go up. Okay. All right guys, so we have here our it took us less than 10 minutes to create the catapult, ask the questions, get way our kids less thinking, than, way less, less than 10 minutes. Um, and we did this in two parts. So again, here's her catapult. Cody is six years old. She made this all on her own, just with me showing her a picture and giving her the hands-on directions. All right, so we will see you guys another.